what's interesting is if you look at MS and other autoimmune diseases is that women are more susceptible to these diseases. Um, I've also seen some interesting posters at this presentation, uh, at this meeting, um, suggesting that that sex ratio is actually increasing. So there's more women than men who are being diagnosed with MS, and this has not been explained. But in general, the, uh, the old numbers suggest that it's about a two to one ratio. So, that, so while men still get MS, they're less likely to. So that raises some interesting observations or questions that you might ask as to why that is. It could be that there's a factor that uh, men have that could be protective for preventing them from developing an autoimmune disease like mm -hmm. MS. So if you're thinking about hormone differences, clearly one of the big differences between men and women is that men have testosterone and women have, rel women have some testosterone but very, very low levels compared to men. And in fact, if you think about it in terms of uh, clinical observations, men tend to be a little bit older when they get the disease. And I know this is sometimes hard to hear or accept, but testosterone levels do start to decrease relatively early, around uh, age 30. Mm -hmm. And this is around the time that men uh, who are gonna be diagnosed with MS uh, tend to be diagnosed. That's so exactly how it happened for me.